Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you know, I like my little arrow shooters. <laughs> this repeating action works real nice, but of course it's still slow and I want to shoot it in full auto at machine gun firing rates with a huge magazine. But for that we first have to solve a problem because we have ridiculously powerful battery driven uh, drills today that are inexpensive. Now how to convert a rotational force into something that pushes back a string? That is the challenge. I've tried it before but I'm not happy with the results. This was my pencil shooter and I eventually upgraded it to shoot these uh, bolts. And it works but the problem is that this rotational device here as you see when the rubber is getting too strong then the friction is going is too high and actually the whole thing then jams here and actually tears the rubber bands apart. So this rotational device is not the solution. We need the same kind of push mechanism that I use in this one here and therefore I've decided to try rack and pinion but I also wanted to make a test device first to see if it's working before I invest all the money and time in making a full-blown prototype. And here it is, the rack and pinion full auto tester. <laughs> Let me show you its features. This one is not shooting but it has everything that it needs to shoot except of course there is no ammo in this slot here. Uh, this slot is very much the same like in the uh, crossbow um, and of course there is a trigger system here and you can you know use the trigger here and then you see that the shot will then fall. Okay there's a rubber band set of course and here is the uh, rack and pinion system as you see this is actually pushed by the uh, tooth from this one here but of course this is only partially equipped with the uh, teeth. So here there are none and I'll show you why. First take off the main rubber bands so that you see how it works. As you see this one here will push the string down into the lock and if you turn this one here what happens is that you see it shifts it all the way until the whole thing is cocked and then it jumps back because it's also rubber driven. And then next thing is that this trigger here is actually releasing the shot. So each rotation completes a circle. Cock back the bands and then shoot. Okay, let me show this to you. All right, so we're starting to turn and as you see this is pushed back. And here you see that the rubber band snapped in. Now the push rod is back to the front and now the shot falls. And you can keep doing this. Actually, you can do this rather quickly. It works like a charm. All right, now we're using the drill. Really, really good. And now we're testing it in second gear. <laughs> I can't wait until this is full auto. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye.